Welcome back, everybody, to another episode where we're going to be discussing basically nightclub for dummies or nightclub basics 101, whatever you want to say. First of all, if you're new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a thing. Certainly would appreciate it. Moving right into it, we'll start on the lower levels first as I feel it's most important. Now, first things first, I do not believe you should buy a nightclub until you at least own three solid businesses for your nightclub to make good money. Otherwise, it's just a place for you to go party and dance, which, you know, whatever. Do what you want to do. You'll access your computer, which can be found on any of the levels that you choose to buy. You can purchase up to five levels of your nightclub. Uh, you must own the fifth level to have a terabyte, just so you know. Uh, first thing I like to access is the nightclub uh, management section or the resident DJ section to either promote my nightclub by doing missions to raise the popularity or, as I choose to do, I switch DJs 10 different times for $100,000, $10,000 a piece so I can get my popularity back on full tilt. Now, we can't prove this, but many of us grinders do believe that there's a direct correlation between your popularity being on full blast and your workers working the most efficient. Now, once I've settled my DJs and my nightclub popularity, I like to go down to my warehouse management or where my products are being held ready to be sold. Now, as you can see here, I've got four different lines of bars of products that have been amassed, but I have five different workers. What does this mean? This is a common problem that happens a lot. One of your workers, for whatever reason, will stop working. It's an easy fix. What you have to do is just you got to come back to your nightclub and just keep moving guys around until they start back working again, all five or three or how many of you have so that they're all working unless something is full. And in my case, one of the products that they were on, which is methamphetamine, I believe it is not full. So they should have been working. Now, speaking of methamphetamine, some of you may be wondering because you don't see actually the word methamphetamine on the screen, which is it down in the description below. I will tell you each one uh, the names of each one of the businesses so for instance your cargo and shipments I'll let you know that that's actually your crate warehouse and so forth and so forth alright now onto the sell goods screen you can actually sell your product individually in package deals or you can sell the whole thing as one unit okay um, it's pretty much self-explanatory whatever you need to do at the time you can do it whether you need money whether you need space whatever you just do it and upgrades like every other business you want to in my opinion you want to go from most expensive upgrade to the least expensive upgrade because that's just what you're going to need to make the most money anyway all right now fully loaded with the maximum amount of levels maximum staff members etc your nightclub can sell for about 1.7 to 1.8 i forget exactly someone can let me know down below which is it uh but to get that amount you're going to have to move workers around okay you'll play with it you'll get the notification from tony because some businesses or some products fill up faster than others okay now we're going to go to the level b1 all right and that's where you're going to store your delivery vehicles actually this is where we just were all right b1 stores your delivery vehicles b2 b3 and b4 they actually are just extra storage units or storage space and they house vehicles so we're going to skip that go down to b5 that's where your terabyte is stored that's where you can upgrade your oppressor okay just like every other vehicle if you want to modify it you go sit in the driver's seat hit right on the d-pad now up on the main floor is where in your office you can access your wall safe and you can change your gun loadout and there's an elevator as you can see on the map on the lower left you see my gun loadout the wall safe is empty so they don't show the dollar sign but you'll see that when you go in there and of course you got your floor so you can go boogie and that's pretty much it guys from the business side of the nightclub so if you found this video helpful in any way please be sure to leave a like leave me any comments that you may have i love to read them and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn the post notification bell on so you miss nada thank you so much for watching i certainly do appreciate it be sure to check out more videos scrolling across the top as we speak or you can stick around and check out the very next video right here right now on beyond the game